What's up guys, it's Osses from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modern, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download Malwarebytes, anti-malware for your Android phone, and specifically your Galaxy S3, to um, help protect it from malware, infected apps, and other unauthorized surveillance. So, basically what this app does is it actually scans your device um, daily, and you can set the time, whichever you want and it'll tell you if you have any infections or not. So after you download the free application available in the Play Store, um, it'll automatically start running and you can go to the app icon to scan your device. So all you do is you hit scan. I've already done it, it says there's no malware. Um, you can also go to the app manager to check on the apps that you have. Obviously you can do this by going to settings, application manager, but it's actually the same thing so it's just all in one place and then here's the whitelist which you're supposedly supposed to be able to add um, different applications that you already know are fine and don't want to waste time scanning to this whitelist but as you can see this list hasn't aggregated we don't know what the deal is um, I've read some comments that developers supposedly working on it so Hopefully within the next couple of days, Malware will um, fix that. It's a well-known company that you've probably heard of or may not have heard of, but it's uh, founded in 2004, and a whole bunch of people were excited that they actually finally brought something to the mobile arena. Um, you can access the settings here by clicking on the settings menu and going there, and here's where you can schedule your um, scans. So right here, you obviously go to schedule scans, Scan frequency, you can change that from daily to weekly. You can change the time from when that scan starts. That's basically it. You can also turn off automatic scans, but obviously if you want to better protect your device, you want to scan as much as possible to make sure. Um, it has automatic updates, which means it's updating the, the database of threats um, automatically so that if a new threat comes out, you'll be protected from that. You can also hide this little icon. I know a lot of people get annoyed by stuff like that by just tapping on this. And as you can see, it went away. Now, it also will remain in your um, notification task scanner. And you cannot get rid of that, but it's because it's always running. So, if it's always running, it's always going to be on ongoing. So, unless you turn it off by going to settings um, application manager first force quit it'll always be there and you can also obviously uninstall it and that will also make it go away but it's always there it's always reminding you that it's crushing malware so that's a good thing that's basically what the app really does you can also there's a couple other features that are semi-useful but not that useful privacy manager so basically you hit scan and it will scan all of your applications and then it'll show you what access those applications have so if you don't know if you're just scanning willy-nilly I mean if you're just downloading apps willy-nilly this will show you what those apps can actually do so you can see that apps that have access to your calendar you'll see those apps there and then if that freaks you out you can uninstall it um, apps that have access to your accounts, these are obviously Google Play accounts and other accounts that you've hooked up to these apps and they're all listed in here. Apps that can cost you money which is an interesting one like uh, Everything Home, I didn't know that would cost me money but it costs you money by sending text messages or making calls which it won't do unless you actually do it so it's not necessarily the scariest thing um, and then track location and everything. So this is pretty much the most useful part of the privacy manager is if you don't know what access certain apps have, you can check that out here after scanning your device. And then security audit will scan your device again and show you things that you can do to better protect it. So as you can see, I don't have a lock screen pattern on. So it says you should probably install that. That's why that X is there. So if I just click on this, it'll take me automatically to where I can set that up. And um, I can turn that on. So I can set a password there. Um, but anyways, you can do that. You can go back 
and then you can disable development mode if you want to do that, which is debugging, but I don't want that, and stuff like that. So it's pretty useful. It's kind of cool. Obviously, you can do that stuff on your own, but this always takes it and puts it into one little thing, one little app. So there you have it. That is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Um, make sure to check that out in the Play Store and save your device from threatening malware viruses. All right, guys, thanks for um, watching, and make sure to check out the full tutorial on Samsung Galaxy S3 SoftMonitor, and also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.